Hello everyone, welcome to the Captain's Video Blog. We are Monday, November 28th, 2016. Okay, uh, the camera lens is going a little bit uh, bad. Uh, we are a little bit into the fourth, uh, fourth, Jesus, the third hour of Raw. It's because it's 4 a.m., so I kind of get it. Um, third hour of Raw, uh, and uh, so far, uh, Roman Reigns is the number one contender for the uh, Universal title. Um, the, the the match for the women's title has been uh, you know um, <laughs> has ended on a double count out so now it's gonna be uh, up with a false count anywhere no count out, no disqualification stipulation so that you know everything is covered um, Sami Zayn is treated like shit uh, the cruiserweights uh, just uh, there's nothing to interest me apparently you know. Uh, he gave the microphone to to Rich Swana for after he won against uh, Noam Dar, and the crowd was just silent, and he danced, and the crowd was silent, and, and they put uh, Cedric Alexander in a romance uh, thing with uh, with Alicia Fox. That's probably not what Daniel Bryan meant, you know, when he said you gotta interest the you gotta create some interest in the personalities of the cruiserweights it's probably not what he meant and then you know it's in charlotte so he lost because he's from charlotte he lost to tony nice now tony nice great uh, great wrestler wonderful athlete lots of talent like drew gulak but uh i mean uh, you just would want cedric alexander to win uh, what else was there? You know, the same thing being treated like shit. There's nothing new. He defended the Golden Truth against Braun Strowman, and then he went off on on uh, Mick Foley because uh, he feels like he's not, you know, saying he's he's being a little bit of a hypocrite. Uh, what else was there? I I don't know. It's just I will elaborate on all that in tomorrow's video blog. Right now, I just you know like uh, we're in a in a. Uh, <laughs> In a commercial break, yeah. Before the you know the uh, the the other commercial break, before I was like maybe I will do the video upload right now. There was uh, Sheamus and, and Cesaro. They had the little bar brawl with uh, uh, lots of NXT superstars, and I was like, Haha, this is silly. Oh God, Roman Reigns in a in the in the main event of the pay per view once again. He's not defending his US title either. Just you know, just forcing Owens to defend the, the Universal title, but he's not defending the US title because uh, yeah, he's you know he's holding it like hold, holding the title like a burlap uh, burlap um, bag. Oh, uh, you know it's not the way you you wear the title; it's the way you defend it. You just don't defend it. You want you you're treating the title like some shit. Even John Cena treated it like it was a big deal. You know. John's now been challenged. Ah, that was great. Um, best US champion, to be quite honest, uh, in WWE and even in ECW. <laughs> uh, in the whole history of the title, though, so WCW. Can mark my word on that. So, yeah, uh, what's happened today? So, uh, uh, since, well, I mean, the beginning of the weekend, lots of announcements for second season. The second, well, for uh, sequels. There's a sequel to Code Geass, where Lelouch is the main character what are you doing sunrise there's going to be a sequel to card capture sakura starting in january of 2018 oh boy and there's going to be a sequel to yuki yuna wayusha deru uh, which was uh, you know uh takahiro's attempt at madoka now the second season is only going to consist of six episodes which is a bit weird but then again we've seen the second season of madatsu no saizai with only four episodes Probably to, you know, fill up the time um, before uh, starting the, you know, restarting the, <laughs> the broadcast of uh, Regalia, the three sacred sacred stars. So yeah, um, so yeah, lots of uh, of uh, sequels announced. Not sure what to make of all of this, especially Code Geass, because I mean the ending was pretty open uh, about uh, Lelouch's um, fate. But uh, yeah, apparently they wanted to to elaborate on that, you know, to go further. Yeah, Lelouch, is he dead or is he alive? I do think that he was dead. I mean, he was <coughs> stabbed by uh, Suzaku, I think. I'm gonna have to rewatch Scott Gias. Um, so anyway, yeah, kind of a shit day to be quite honest. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you really like 
I've received uh, I've sent a mail to a to one uh, to one of the people I talked about to, you know for the internship for the at the firefighters to migrate their uh, departmental GIS onto a web server uh, and uh, last week he had uh, sent me a mail with an offer an offer for an internship that was basically the same word for uh, <laughs> an organization uh, that uh, uh, is fighting against mosquitoes uh, because that's kind of an issue in the region, you know. Uh, draining the swamp is kind of a thing we have literally done here to boost tourism in the 60s. Uh, was that our implanting the French spa spatial program? <laughs> yeah, what a dumb thing it would have been. Um, it's just not the great, better, best place uh, on all the territory of France to put it. <laughs> French Guiana next to the equator. Nah, we would put it in metropolitan France. Yeah, that's gonna work. Uh, so yeah, wrote an email. You know, I felt bad because yeah, I received your email and uh, your offer. Yeah, it probably is within the bounds of what my master's degree uh, is preparing me for. But uh, uh, why not? You know, I send you this letter that I've been writing. Uh, um, all this week, all this weekend, because apparently the people asked me to do that, and uh, you can give it to a colonel, I guess. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks. And uh, you know, I stayed up uh, until pretty late in the afternoon to see if they would answer me, and then they actually answered me uh, at 7 p.m. when I was still being in a sort of a slumber, uh, which is for the best, you know, that someone woke me up because I would probably be still sleeping right now. Um, <laughs> Really, I, I mean it. Um, <laughs> and uh, just to tell me, yeah, no, they six months, that's possible. So yeah, um, I still have like two months and a half. I'm I'm giving it, you know, it uh, leaving it until mid February. If in mid February I have nothing, I'm fucked. I really hope that by mid January I have something. Uh, especially in transportation, that would be fun. You know, I don't care about uh, going all the way through the country. At this point, I'm pretty much, you know, uh, good with the idea that not only will I not save 3,000 euros uh, with my earnings for the internship, I'm also gonna have to find some money before the internship to pay, well, the rent, first off, uh, because obviously I'm gonna move before the internship starts. That would be dumb to move after, you know, because especially if uh, I'm way way uh way away from here um so yeah you know last la last year well this year I mean earlier this year I had found the, the one internship I really wanted to do uh in mid February uh, so yeah now for transportation I'm there's really no offer be besides the one in Paris uh, I'm gonna send you know uh, application letters really the same language I'm just gonna <laughs> replace by mid March of 2016 to by uh, February of 2017, uh, just give them more leeway. To be quite honest, like uh, last <laughs> this spring, I gave them two weeks. This this time around, I gave them two months to two months and a half to get something ready. Um, no, I'm only, only going to send one to Toulouse and Montpellier. I don't know. I will have to look about that. Look, uh, just uh, something to do about that. Um, yeah. Uh, Rudy Garcia wants to move uh, some of the things of the club out of La Commanderie, which is understandable because Commanderie is like uh, four, uh, three to five times smaller than the, the installations he had in Lille and Rome. Uh, yeah, I watched the final four episodes of, of uh, Mr. Robot, uh, second season. Scream, please watch the third season. Who's, you know, who is uh, pulling the, the strings? Uh, he's darling even aware of everything that's uh, going on behind her back uh, is everything just you know are some things a s uh, figment of uh, of uh, Elliot's imagination is Elliot going to die maybe uh, what is Julie Badass's character doing with uh, former members of the F society just so many questions uh, <laughs> just you know it was there were some answers in the the first two of the last four episodes and uh, then let's just add up more questions is the dark army just just that bad I, I really don't know um yeah so speaking you know under 10 minutes uh, that would mean four last video weblogs as much time as the 
uh, two video vlogs from last weekend, Survivor Series in Toronto. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, see you tomorrow, and just over 10 minutes, sorry, bye.